It's time for JUCO Jam, presented to you by Dream Big Athletics, hosted by Tad Slowick, an exciting new podcast bringing you all the great action from JUCO baseball. Here you'll find weekly updates from around the country, highlighting the teams, players, and coaches who impact the game at the junior college level. Everything you want to learn about JUCO baseball can be found here and on our website at dreambigathletics.com. There you'll find our weekly team rankings, the top player rankings headed into the spring, and all the news of what is happening in the game at the junior college level. On this show, you will have many guests, coaches, players who will give us insight on the day-to-day, behind-the-scenes working of junior college baseball. And now our host, Tad Slowick. Welcome, baseball fans, to another exciting episode of the JUCO Jam Baseball Podcast, brought to you by Dream Big Athletics. I'm your host, Tad Slowick. And with me again today is my good buddy, Lou Temple. Lou, how you doing? Ooh, fishing's fine, Ted Slowick. Uh, big shout out to Joel over at St. Louis Productions, one of our sponsors to get us started. We're happy to have him aboard, as well as MVP for all of your baseball softball solutions in the Midwest area. Thank you so much. Dream Big Athletics, here we are. This is your go-to source of information for all things JUCO, and Tad, you're right in the middle of it. Today, we're gonna talk on Division II team rankings and uh, how we're setting up as we head into the regionals. Yeah, a lot of of exciting stuff going on right now. A lot of conference uh, championships being decided, a lot of rivalry games. And the schedule makers are great because they save a lot of these games for the last uh, uh, series of the season. So uh, I'm actually going down to see uh, Heartland and Lincoln Land uh, this weekend, and that'll be a great battle beside that. Heartland defending national champions and, uh, you know, had a really strong team last year. They got a real good team again this year. Uh, But, you know, someone's always wanted to take down the best team. So I'm going to get to see that. That's a tough region this year. Heartland, Lincoln Land, Parkland all have a chance of uh, coming out of there and doing well. So, I mean, all those teams have played pretty good. Yeah, that'll be epic. That'll be fantastic, getting the chance to see uh, all of those teams square off head-to-head. And um, as you always say, they're battle-tested. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's good to see all these battles. You know, uh, in the Midwest, still Kellogg and, and Lansing up in Michigan. Those are two teams I think Kellogg has been playing a little better right now. But, uh, you know, we know postseason and and conference play, anything can happen. So it'll be a battle there. And another up staying up north, uh, I mean, uh, Iowa Junior College Baseball is always great. You know, they they always have really good teams. You know, we talked about Iowa Western in Division One, and but the Division Two crop is is really good quality uh action uh you got kirkwood you got southeastern who i think is probably a little bit of the favorite right now they went to the world series last year they just knocked off iowa western a couple times in the series they played so uh you know they look like they're hitting stride you know you got iowa central too as a great year all three of those teams have been in the top 10 you know so i mean if someone's got to win that, and it'll be interesting to see what comes out of it. I think Southeastern has a little edge right now. They're playing the best right now, but uh, anything can happen. You know, and then uh, staying in the Midwest, too, uh, we got the, up north uh, in my neck of the woods. Uh, you got Madison, probably a little bit of a favorite up there. Uh, uh, Morton College has some good players this year and have been playing well, as well as uh, Rock Valley and, and Blackhawk. Blackhawk has really made a nice run of it. So, uh, you know, they're going to be a very formidable opponent, especially in the postseason. So it'll be interesting to see what happens up there. Gotcha. And then uh, moving south into the big guns down in Alabama, what do you got down that way? Yeah, I mean, Wallace Doth, the number one team right now in the country. Uh, you know, they came down from D1 last year. This is their first year at Division Two. You know, they just done nothing but tore it up. Uh, you know, we had Ryan Eiley on the uh, podcast, a uh, great young coach who's doing a great job with that program. And, uh, you know, they're going to be ready to go. They got all facets of the game covered. They pitch, they play defense, they can swing the bat, score some runs. So they're going to be tough. They're going to have a test from uh, the um, 
the Florida area, though. So, I mean, and it'll be interesting to see who wins there, you know. Uh, those teams uh, uh, just battle each other, too. St. John's River uh, right. went to the World Series last year. Uh, Pasco, Hernando, Palm Beach, you know, I mean, any of these clubs can – can come out of there and win and uh, give uh, Wall Stothan uh, a good battle. Central, who's been playing great all year, you know, they went to the World Series last year knocking off Pearl River and LSU Eunice. But, you know, LSU Eunice and, and Pearl River are in perennial powers for a, a reason. You know, they, they got a lot of talent. There's a lot of talent there. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be interesting to see who comes out of that battle. And, and watch out for Meridian, too. Meridian oh, is, wow. uh, right. you know, a good club. You know, they got Blaze Priester, that really good catcher down there. He's going to LSU. And, uh, you know, so they got talent. I mean, that that region is just chock full of a lot of talented players. So, you know, anything can happen. So Right. Right. So uh, they will all line up for the regional bids and finish up conference play coming up here in this next week. And um, yeah. and and we'll look for a few surprises, maybe a few upsets out of that. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, you know, it's going to be good baseball, though, that's for sure. No doubt about that. And out uh, west, you know, uh, the Arizona schools, uh, like I said, all the time they beat up on each other, too. Uh, you know, Glendale got off to a great start and they... They've been slipping a little lately, uh, but uh, I'm sure they'll be ready to go come postseason. Uh, Mesa's been the team out there that's been playing real good baseball. You know, Mesa's okay. been having a good year, and, uh, you know, they, they've they been really playing well lately. Chandler Gilbert will be uh, a factor out there also. So it'll be interesting to see out west. Um, up in the northeast, you got uh, Frederick up there. You know, they, they've been pretty much the, the class of the, the northeast right now. And, uh, you know, they're going to be, uh, you know, the favorite there. You know, who knows who could take them out. Uh, Allegheny of Maryland uh, has played really well and has had some good hitters and they can score some runs. Uh, they've stumbled as of late, but, uh, you know, I think they'll be ready for the postseason. And then we got Brunswick down in North Carolina, who's been uh, yeah, playing, playing really well. good baseball. You know, right. they've been they've had a great year, and uh, you know, I think they're going to be uh, a factor come postseason too. So, you know, you got a lot of quality teams with a lot of quality players, and uh, too early right. to make predictions, Tad. Too early. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll wait another week here until the thing teams get lined up a little bit. Uh, I. I misspoke and uh, didn't talk about uh, another really good region, which is that Oklahoma area this year, oh, you know. Of course. Northern oh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Yeah. Tonkawa, Northern Oklahoma, Enid. You know, you got Western Oklahoma there, ASU Mountain Home, and, uh, you know, all these teams have been playing good. And, you know, really, like I said, been beating up on each other the last several weeks. And, uh, They've had some great series and great battles, and, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to to see what happens there. But uh, just a great year for junior college baseball at all levels. Uh, you know, D2, no exception. We've got a lot of talent here, a lot of good quality teams, and anything can happen. You know, uh, Heartland defending national champions, uh, they're going to have to – they're going to have a hell of a time defending their, their title this year. It's – it's going to be it's going to be interesting right and let's not forget some really great players that that are littered all through division two that will go on to um i love talking juco baseball and uh it's great to visit with you again and uh i'll see you on the next episode right we'll uh we'll we'll knock it out on juco jam again thanks tad i'll see you soon hey you have a great day You've been listening to Juco Jam. For all your junior college needs, go to dreambigathletics.com. And make sure to tune in to next week's episode of Juco Jam.